In my latest book, The Weeknight Cookbook, I have so many different pasta dishes, but this zucchini crema pasta is by far my favourite. It is super simple to do. It almost resembles a pesto, but the key ingredient here is zucchini. It's such a versatile vegetable. Now what I want to do is just slice these so they're about five millimetres thick. I'm also heating some water up. It's boiling now and I'll add some salt. This is for our pasta. So when you're cooking a pasta like this in a fast sauce, you do want to get the water on first because it does take some time to come up to boil. We need a generous handful of salt in there. I'll leave the lid on for now until we get our sauce started. So in a saute pan, just like this one, I'll add a good glug of extra virgin olive oil and use a really good quality olive oil for this because we're going to taste it through this crema or pesto if you like. And now I'll add the zucchini and then one clove of garlic. I'm just going to bruise it and then roughly chop it. Okay, we can add a pinch of salt for this and coat it in the oil. I'm just going to fry this for a few minutes before adding 500 millilitres of water. While that's cooking, I can start preparing the herbs. Herbs of choice today are some basil, beautiful fresh basil and some mint. And I just want to pick a big handful of each. Now you can see all of that water has reduced and the zucchini is cooked. That's what we're looking for, nice soft zucchini and it smells fantastic because of that garlic in there too. Now it's time to add the pasta to the water. It is rapidly boiling and I'm using penne pasta for this. I like to use penne pasta because all of this delicious sauce is going to go into all the holes of the penne. Okay, so in with the pasta. and we'll give that a stir. And we don't need to put the lid back on the pasta, we'll just let that boil away. I like my pasta al dente. This one's going to take about eight to 10 minutes to cook. Now to finish off this crema, we need to add all of this zucchini to a blender. So I'll just bring this blender over here. And we'll add that softened zucchini. Scrape that in. You know it's completely cooked when all of that water has gone. So there's no need to actually cover that pan with a lid. Now we can add a few of our other ingredients. So the big handful of basil can go on top and our mint, squish it in there. And then some pine nuts that I've toasted and a generous amount of parmesan. I'll just grate that onto my board first to make it easier. We want about a handful of parmesan. Fabulous. That can go in. Now we did add some salt to our zucchini, so I won't add any more at this stage, but I will add a generous glug of extra virgin olive oil. All right, lid on, and I'll blend this until it's really smooth. Look at that vibrant green colour. Oh, and it smells so good. I can smell that basil and mint, which really goes nicely with zucchini. Okay, this pasta is cooked. I'm not going to change pans because I don't like to do washing up. So I'm going to add a few generous ladlefuls of pasta straight into this same pan with the oil. Now a few big spoonfuls of the sauce into the pasta. Now we're just going to toss it all together and I'll grab a spoon and just make sure that's completely coated. Look at that. It smells fantastic. Okay, let's plate up. So a few spoonfuls into a shallow bowl just like this. 
I've been quite generous with the sauce because it is that good. So I want a nice amount of sauce ratio to pasta. Now to finish it off, some fresh parmesan. That is my favourite pasta dish from my new book. It is worth a try. It is so delicious. I'm going to have a taste now. Mmm. So light, so herbaceous with all those herbs. Zucchini, it is so versatile. So give this one a go, you'll absolutely love it.